behind me. you get there you got like what you were at 13 got like so you got like 18 you got like 18 i think because he was at 12 when he called it in you gotta wait till 99 to call it in. they'll stop the game won't it the timer no you're the only one with like more than 20 kills let's go kid the chopper did so much for you that chopper did wonders that was unreal you got 18 kills with that thing Carl would like to you. What's going on guys, my name is Nostalgia FPS. I hope you enjoyed that intro nuke. I was playing with my friends Joel and Swarms. They were encouraging me in that chopper gunner. Uh, it was funny watching that back. I must have been tweaking in the party. You can't hear my voice, but <laughs> they were obviously encouraging me. So thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 in 2021 and how I personally play the game. So this commentary might be a little bit shorter than the others just because there's not too much to talk about, but in my previous video I was talking about how backwards compatibility broke Modern Warfare 3 for Xbox, and the same is very true for Xbox 360 Modern Warfare 2. It is very difficult for you to find lobbies on Modern Warfare 2 if you're on 360, Xbox One, or Xbox Series X. But if you do own a PlayStation 3 and you can handle some modders and cheaters, then PlayStation is probably your best bet. I will say though, the best overall experience for Modern Warfare 2 is IW4X, which is a client for Modern Warfare 2, kind of like how uh, IW5 Plutonium works with Modern Warfare 3. On PC with IW4X, there's custom guns, skins, maps, it's really just the best experience for Modern Warfare 2. Anyway though, the two gameplays that you're going to see today are coming from the Xbox One, and so I'd kind of like to talk about how you can find good lobbies if you're on Xbox. There's a community on Discord called MW2 Ground War, and it is honestly the very best way to find lobbies if you're on Xbox. Of course, if you don't prefer 9v9, there's channels for Team Deathmatch, 6v6, that kind of thing, but it's just a great experience finding lobbies because there's people that are posting pictures of lobbies that they are personally in and giving out invites for you guys to join. To be honest, making this video, I'm not even sure if I have permission to leave a link in the description for the Discord, so hopefully there will be a link for that in the description below, but if not, then you guys know why I couldn't. But the server is really cool. If you like Ground War and you like old Call of Duty games from COD 4 all the way up to, you know, some of the newer ones like World War 2, uh, this server really has a lot of channels for you guys to find matches. It's just kind of nice to know that despite the troubles of backwards compatibility with matchmaking stuff like that, there's still people who care about the game and are trying to keep lobbies going. Once again though, to call back to my previous video, the PlayStation 3 video, uh, you don't even need a Discord server if you're on PlayStation. You just queue up into a match, whatever game you want to play, and there's almost always players playing. 
Anyway, though, that's the end of my short commentary for you guys today. This uh, nuke that you're currently watching was a nuke that I had a lot of my kill streaks shot down really fast, so I had to get some gun kills. So hopefully, it's a little bit more entertaining than a standard nuke. But nonetheless, that is going to be it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.